Oh, hey everybody, it's Jess, and I'm getting ready to teach uh, my new timeline training class in our Master Alchemy. And I thought I would make this little video for you guys to show you a representation of light, shadows, right? Darkness, infinite possibilities. This is my office. And um, I don't know, a couple months ago, I found this awesome neon light, um, you know, online, and it says basically, um, it was all a dream, which is kind of like this idea of our holographic, you create your own adventure reality that we are here in. And and it's it was just fun and I loved it. But when I put it up, look how bright it is, to the point where it is like so bright at night that it you can't read the words. It's so bright, you literally, I mean, you have to like squint and try to create shadows. You cannot read the word, it's too bright. It's too bright. So I was like, darn it, because you know, I was hoping that you could see it in my cool videos but it's too bright so I go on Amazon and I find this little handy like dimmer switch okay and and this is kind of our little scientific experiment on light you reality consciousness and your ability to create or destroy or disappear or dim all right so i install this dimmer switch and i'm like super excited because i'm going to bring out be able to bring the light down to the shadow point where you can actually read the words kind of like spirit has to slow down fast enough to be considered matter right so i install the dimmer switch and this is a really strong led light and this dimmer switch is not compatible so let me show you what happens when i try to dim this switch right i'm gonna like real time here and I'm halfway, now it's flickering, which is freaking annoying, okay? So flicker, 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 right? Creates like seizures and, and discomfort, and this is like below the halfway point of my dimming switch, and it I can't leave it like this. You know, what does that attract at night? Bugs, right? And so you can see that I am halfway volume down of that light and all it's doing is flickering right because it's so strong so what i do is i keep going and i keep going and i keep and it's off so there's no there's no element where it drops out but what it'll do is when it's all the way turned down it will flash flash kind of like a 911 call like hey somebody turn my light off okay this is all the way this is even all the way down but it's down enough where the stream is basically split into fragments now. So in this analogy that I wanted to make for you guys without blinding you, I'll turn it all the way down here, is that this is what happens to us when we get in a relationship attachment that asks us to be less than ourselves. It's like, how do we know how to turn down? You know, you go to this person, you turn down this much, you turn down this much, but when you condition yourself to be such a low volume, your light is still going to be powerful and it's still going to flicker because you're still there, but you're going to attract the bugs, the parasites, the sucking energy, the people who are just sucking, sucking from you because they can feel that, you know, they, they can feel that energy from you, but you're not radiating and blinding them like you should be. So this is like where we get in trouble as empaths and light workers when we're young is we're so bright that it literally creates like annoyances and our family gets upset with us. And so I thought it was a really cool experiment when I was trying to get frustrated with my own light, turning it down, turning it up, and all it was doing is flickering. And ultimately this light kind of represents each one of these little infinite possibilities or these little stars or little universes, which is you. So we don't wanna keep dulling our light. We don't wanna keep turning it down and we wanna just turn up and just like the sun does, it doesn't care if it blinds you. And eventually you will find people who have the right amount of light to be able to see clearly who and what you are. It won't be a resistance, a rejection, abandonment, or someone asking you to turn down.